Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the new podcast series, which I will be uploading here to YouTube and uh, to various platforms where you can listen to it. And here, I just want to discuss various questions that I get asked. Um, I get a lot of different questions on the Facebook groups, on the Thoracic Outlet Syndrome groups, in the comments below. And I thought, let me just do this series, which is a little bit longer, because it's the same questions over and over, and there's a lot of new people joining all the groups, and a lot of new people getting diagnosed with um, Thoracic Outlet Syndrome and Frozen Shoulder, and it's just affecting a lot more people. And this way, if you don't know what you're looking for, if you don't have answers for a lot of things that you're looking for, hopefully you can watch this, get a little bit of information, and uh, you can even take it to your doctor and say you think this is what you have, and hopefully give you a little bit more insight on the different procedures involved in TOS um, and what you can do for yourself to help you at home on a daily basis and get back to a normal life. So those of you that don't know, I had TOS and it first started about three years ago, three or four years ago, um, where my arm was completely blue and numb and I couldn't lift my arm, I couldn't hold things, and my, my whole arm would get sore and it would get, it was like totally blue and no, there wasn't any pulse. So there were a lot of things happening that I didn't understand and I thought that I might be having a slow heart attack or I wasn't sure what was going on. Uh, went to a lot of doctors and eventually after going to a vascular surgeon, or orthopedic surgeon, going to various different testings, th they finally found that I had TOS, which is thoracic outlet syndrome. And it has been classified as a rare condition but a lot more people are developing it due to lifestyle, due to looking down at our phones, um, sitting at a desk with our laptops. And there's a lot of things that we do on a daily basis that don't help us. They just make us worse and worse. And when you start getting these symptoms, you don't realize what you have. And then it's a whole process and even operations to help alleviate the nerves and the, the blood vessels and the arteries within your brachial plexus to loosen up everything and get you back to a normal life. So I want to cover all of these things, what I've done, how I've helped people, what they've done, what other options are available to you, so that you know exactly the full spectrum of TOS and exactly what it is and all the symptoms involved, because there are various symptoms that people really don't know that is TOS related. Um, a lot of the groups, there's questions every day of different symptoms happening and nobody knows what's, what's really going on. So unless you've lived with it and experienced it, it can be very frightening and a scary thing to deal with. So I want to cover all of this in this podcast series and we'll go over different things about healthy living and what you can do juice wise and using essential oils and just various things to help you along the way along with other treatments that you may be doing. So I will be uploading episode one very shortly. This is just an introduction to what's going to come and I hope you guys enjoy it. Please like and subscribe and share it because there are a lot of people that are asking the same questions and haven't found my channel and it's hard to get my channel out there to them. So if you know somebody, if you could share the link to them and maybe it could help them and reduce their time suffering because a lot of people live with thoracic outlet syndrome for so many years that they get to a point where their whole lives have passed their by and they cannot do anything and by the time that they're getting treatment, they've wasted so much time. So I'm really sure and positive that this can help a lot more people that are not seeing it. And hopefully we can make this awareness of TOS more readily available and we can spread the message and get a lot more people helped a lot sooner and get their lives back. So I'll see you guys soon in episode number one.